off the whale boat and onto the biggest iceberg in Antarctica when I noticed my most trusty sleigh dog. <laughs> Actually, I had just gotten off my bus from kindergarten and said goodbye to Mateo, my bus driver. Bye, Mateo! <laughs> I saw my tire waiting for me outside my parents' hotel. Yippee! Come on, Feather Duster. Come on, Tire. Let's go see my parents. Hey, Ellen. How was school today? It was good. We discovered an iceberg, and I rolled around in the snow, and when the sleigh dog raced to the South Pole, even though I was short one dog. That's nice, honey. Dad, did you find another fossil? Yeah, this is a fossilized plant from the time of the dinosaurs. Wow, dinosaurs? Are there still dinosaurs? <laughs> no, honey, there haven't been dinosaurs for millions and millions of years. Food. Oh, hi, sweetheart. How was school? It was good. I am so busy. Mr. Delmas and his very hungry puppy checked into room 708 this morning, and I have been running around all day trying to find puppy food. That puppy is so hungry. <laughs> he eats everything in sight. Oh, Ellen, will you do me a favor and take the garbage out? Sure, Mom. Hmm. When the governor asked me to deliver the gold coins to the bank, I couldn't say no. I was on my way to Snake Mountain Pass, when suddenly, a group of bandits started chasing us. Giddy up! Giddy up! mom by throwing out the garbage, like I always do, when I noticed that something looked very different. There was garbage everywhere, and it really smelled. Ew, what happened? Hmm. Footprints, six footprints, four little bitty footprints, and two biggy big footprints. It could only be one thing. A six-footed dinosaur. I'll have to find it. It's a good thing I have my X-28-1000 dinosaur finder. there haven't been dinosaurs here for millions and millions of years. So, I guess I'll have to take my time machine. Travel is so fun! <laughs> there are the tracks! Aha! 
We must be really close to a dinosaur! Could these be the same tracks? Aha! A dinosaur! There's one now! Were you the dinosaur that was going through our garbage? Hmm. Let me see. Wait. You only have two feet. The dinosaur that I'm looking for has six feet, four little bitty feet, and two biggy big feet. You're a different dinosaur. But you can help me find the six-footed dinosaur. <laughs> we were following the dinosaur tracks when suddenly we ran into a giant ape. Whoa! <laughs> Actually, we ran into Cooter. He was trying on a big woolly sweater that Connie was knitting for him. Hi, Ellen. I was just knitting Cooter a big woolly sweater. What do you think of it? It's fuzzy. <laughs> Itchy is what it is. Oh, good, Ellen. I finally found more puppy food for Mr. Delmas's very hungry puppy. Will you please bring it to them? They're by the swimming pool. Sure, Mom. Did I just discover the lost pearl of Atlantis? Only one man would know for sure. It's still itchy. <laughs> Pop down. Lucky for me, I had just found out that the world's greatest lost pearl of Atlantis expert was exploring a beach nearby. I was finally face to face with the famous sea explorer, Monsieur Delmas, and Coco, his trained seal. Actually, I found Mr. Delmas from room 708 and his very hungry puppy. This is for you, sir. Actually, <laughs> it's for your puppy. <laughs> Great! Food for my very hungry puppy. I keep trying to go for a swim, but he's so very hungry that he runs off to find food and I have to chase him all over the place. He even dug through the garbage cans out back. So I sat down to a big dinner of roasted dinosaur. Actually, Mom and Dad were so busy trying to find food for Mr. Delmas's very hungry puppy that they didn't have time to cook dinner. So we just got takeout fried chicken, and it was really good. Actually, actually, it was. <laughs> Please pass the mashed potatoes. Here you go, little lady. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> 